EHSTW boys 4x1 with a sear. They win it. In fact, uh, they won the 4x2 and had some pretty good individual performances as well from this uh, trio. We're missing JJ Madsen, but we'll start off with Joey Cunningham. 4x1's fresh in our minds. How did it go for you? It felt pretty good. I mean, the weather conditions are it freaking sucks, but other than that, it felt pretty good getting so, out of the blocks. Did you, how much of a win were you going straight into? Pretty, it is pretty good win. It felt like I felt like I was battling it the whole entire time. But. So then you handed off to JJ Madsen. How smooth was that? That felt pretty good. What do you do after uh, uh, you hand off? You just like go get your sweats on right away and assume that the rest of this crew is gonna bring it home yeah. or what? Yeah, I you usually stand there. Or cheer for him or what? I usually cheer on until he hands it off to Corbin and then I'll run and go get my sweatpants on. It's pretty cold. These other two guys, they had a chance to star in the sprint relays last year, but this is their first crack at being at that uh, elite level. Um, how much did you kind of look up to the, the guys last year and how exciting is it to be a part of it this season? It, it feels pretty good to be a part of something like this. You know, Last year there were a lot of leaders and I looked up to a lot of them guys and they're pretty good friends to them. So. They taught me a lot and how to work hard and have good work ethic. And what about your portion of the 4x2 tonight? How'd you split there? It, was, it felt pretty good. I just, the wind was pretty bad there too, and we just said if we could tough it out and be tougher than the other guys, then we could pull it off. Uh, would you run for open events or other relays? Uh, I didn't run any other opens today, but. All right, we'll go to Corbin Martin. Uh, four by one, you ran the third portion of it into the heavy mist. Yeah. But uh, overcome the obstacles and overcome the conditions. Yeah. No, when it's weather like this, I mean, you just got to stay as loose as you can and hope not tear anything. I mean, nothing you can really do about it except for run. I was kind of going through your mind as you, I mean, imagine you're uh, thinking, are we going to run, are we going to not throughout the day today or maybe all week? Once we, once we get to start, like once we start running, you just got to set, tell your mind, it's a mindset thing, you just got to finish out the day and run for the rest of the day. I happened to hear from some bystanders before you started one year race that they were like, look down, like, who's that kid in blue in lane, whatever it was, he's big. How do you use your strength and your frame to your advantage? Just use my power like in the 100 to get out of the blocks and just get out faster. And if the wind's against me, I feel like I have the advantage because I'm a stronger runner than I feel like most of the people I'm running against. What do you and Drake as seniors have to teach these young pups on the, in the sprint relays this year? Just have a good work ethic and just try as hard as they can. We got J.J. Madsen tracked him down now. Get a chance to talk to him about the... Four by one, you guys win the conference meet in. How's it feel to be a conference champ as a freshman? Uh, I don't know. It's kind of like, over, not really like overwhelming, but like excitement all in one, I guess. I just push myself, trying to be more like the seniors. Not a lot of guys are probably turning in season best times in these conditions, but do you feel like you ran a pretty, had a pretty good effort on your leg of the race? Yeah, well. The four by one, I was coming into the wind and the mist. That kind of like just different with the rain in your face. So then I just kind of put my head down and tried to keep going. What kind of a position were you in? I mean, were there some guys ahead of you still by the time you handed off to Corbin? Yeah, I could feel one of the, I think it was trainer coming in. So I kind of kicked it in a little bit, gave it all I got. All right, thanks so much, Drake. You don't need gloves? I'm good. You're good? Oh, uh, you're just trying to warm up your hands. All right, well, were you uh, kind of in the clear when you got it on the anchor leg? Uh, yeah, I, I, was, I definitely felt comfortable uh, getting the handoff from Corbin. We stumbled the handoff a little bit, but I knew with my speed I could still finish out strong and get us a good time. Do you like to be in front, or is it maybe more fun to have somebody to track down? Yes and no. I mean, it's it's comfortable knowing that all you got to do is just run your hardest the rest of the race and you'll win, but the spirit of competition in me wants to compete and try to catch somebody and win a race by earning it. You went four for four tonight with wins in the 100, 200, four by one, four by two. That's, uh, I mean, you can't do much better than that. How does that feel? Uh, it's, it's nice knowing that running four events and getting four golds is a constant thing and you know, it just goes to show how much work you put in can really pay off throughout the year.
at what point in the year did you guys kind of identify what your biggest strengths, what your main events you were going to focus on would be? Um, probably around our home meet when we had that. You know, I wasn't at my full potential yet. You know, uh, I was still wasn't running, you know, sub 23s and like sub, like low 11s quite yet. So around that time, I, I started running my better times and we learned that's when those are the races I'm going to do and I'm going to start anchoring our uh, relays and that's what we get, get, uh, get better handoff, so that's what we chose. A lot of times your best, and I guess this happens a lot in track, but your best performances have come against the best competition. Describe kind of the killer instinct, the mentality you have there to rise to that level. You know, uh, we would like I just, to thank everybody for it's a switch for me, you know, comfort isn't what I like to have when I'm competing. I want to have the feeling of, you know, like could, could something happen, you know, am I going to give it my best and give it my all the entire race. And those are my best races, so I can't say much more about that. All right, thanks guys. Let's go warm up.